In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I color my images and more specifically how, how I would color this image. Now, if you want to see how I retouch this picture, there's going to be a link somewhere here or description and you're going to see how I took this to this. So that's kind of like the first step and this is the second step, which is the coloring. And let's see, I didn't practice this image in terms of like which layers I'm going to use. So I'm just going to really be uh, winging it, as they say. So let's first start out with hue saturation. And again, this is not planned. I mean, we're going live, if you know what I mean. I'm just, I'm just going to do whatever comes to mind, really. So what I want to first do is desaturate just a little bit. You know what? Since I'm just winging it, I'm just going to go a little bit crazy, like do some weird stuff right now. But not too weird, like a good amount of weird. Uh, let's see. So now that I've desaturated, let's do selective color. Let's see how funky we can get with this. Let's do greens. And I have like my main go-to type of layers which and one of them is selective color like if i if photoshop layers were my friends selective color would be my best friend and um probably like channel mixer would be the friend that i thought i liked but talks about me behind my dad be behind my back so yeah uh not doing that one now let's try to do a curves layer on here let's try to see what happens see I don't like this it makes it look like like that so I'm gonna try to do something a little bit more I'm gonna just try to do something different and then I do the same thing as I always do okay here we go there that's the end of it no, I'm just joking <laughs> okay so let me do that let me bust out another selective color. Let me do neutrals now. Neutrals, it's like a hit or miss. I mean, she can look like the Blue Ice Queen from, I don't know, any Disney movie. Oh, that, oh, that looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Nice. Yeah, okay. That's a go. This really brings out a lot of detail. And, you know, one of the reasons why I decrease my saturation from the beginning is as you can see it it's very subtle but here let me show you guys without it it just looks it doesn't look properly saturated it just looks kind of like this is like clown this is fashion clown fashion i don't like to oversaturate my images to begin with so let's do blacks see what happens there that looks kind of cool. And you know, the trick with blacks is you can only do like negative two or negative one. Unless you're really feeling weird, then you can just do, if you're really adventurous, you could do like negative 20. But that's only if that's the look you're going for. I would really recommend just keeping it subtle. Like this is negative four, and I think this is a little too much. That's, that was a little bit too much. So I think I really like that. So look at that difference. This is all in one layer. Damn, I just shocked myself. <laughs> Didn't know I could do that. Okay. And let's see what else I could add. Even though, to be honest, I would just stop right here because I think this image looks pretty nice as it is. Um, I mean, just for this tutorial sake, let me show you guys a gradient map on this. And uh, let's do luminosity. I really love luminosity because as you can see, it gives it that faded, worn out look. It's like a vintage type of feel. I really, really love it. But I only, I only ever use it on specific types of images. So I'm gonna maybe do like 3%. And I mentioned this in my other videos, but I think the trick is to do very slight adjustments and not have one layer that makes a really, really big adjustment. You want to have several layers that make tiny adjustments. And that is what is going to be 
more successful, I think, for your images. And let me show you guys. I actually really just like it like this, to be honest. Let me show you guys before and after. Look at that. Before and after. Isn't that crazy? I really think it's that blacks. Oh, wow. No, I'm sorry. It's neutrals. This neutral that kind of changed like the look of the image, which I really like. Um, another thing that I do, sometimes I add a little, I add a little bit of magenta, which I'm not going to do for this image. Uh, let's see, anything else I could add? One thing you could do is you can set this curves layer to luminosity. And if you want to get a, a more whited outlook, you could do something like this. I don't know, I kind of liked it. I like it more like, well, this is kind of nice too. You know, like as you keep adding layers, you're like, this is fine. And then you're like, oh, this is nice. And then you just keep adding. And then you have to scroll through for two minutes just to get to the background. Okay, but for real though, this is good. This looks good. Anything else I would add? Um, let's do a gradient because why not? We're being, oh, this is kind of looking cool. Oh, actually, let's try this. Why not, right? Whatever. Let's do color. Wow, that's not going to work. Looks like she was involved in some kind of Kool-Aid battle or something. Okay, let's do screen. That's looking a little bit more normal, I guess. But realistically, okay, let's, let's be honest for a second. Let's do orange. A nice orange or a light yellow tone. Here's a, a light yellow tone. And I think that actually makes it look kind of nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer under here. I'm going to duplicate this gradient fill by pressing Command J. And I'm going to select the style of radial. And I'm going to set it up right here. Just to kind of make it make it look more, I don't know, Alice in Wonderland kind of thing. I don't know. I'm trying. Okay, here we go. Or you could set it to overlay just for like a pop of color, I guess. And then, again, I'm just duplicating the layer just to make it easy on myself. And I'm just dragging it to the other side. Just for a pop of color. Does that sound so cliche, saying pop of color? <laughs> you know, trying to be hipster here and non-mainstream. So, <laughs> totally joking. Okay, and I think, wow, I did a lot. That looks pretty good, you guys. I'm not even going to lie. So, I really think this is it. I mean, if I added more stuff, I think she'd look like she was a part of the team on Willy Wonka. I mean, I don't want to make her look too much. I don't want to over edit. I think this looks great. If for any reason, you know, you think you did too much, just lower the opacity and save yourself. So let me show you the before and after. So this is before, that's after. And I'm going to show you even closer before and after. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.